Hey guys, I have just updated my Nexus 7 to Android 4.2, the latest version of Android. Um, I would just like to show you a couple of the new features. So this is what the lock screen looks like. The first thing you are probably going to notice is the new widgets for the lock screen. So you may have seen the square flash when I unlocked the screen. You basically have these different squares at the top to add your own widgets. So there is a time widget and we have two more widgets here. We have a calendar and a Gmail widget. Um, I'm not sure whether or not um, you will be able to uh, you know, download new widgets um, you know, from the Google Play Store etc and put them there. I haven't really looked into that. Though nonetheless it's you know, pretty cool and I'm you know, pretty certain that you will be able to put um, third party widgets there. Uh, we of course have the lock sort of circle thing here, you drag it across to unlock the screen. Um, and obviously since this device doesn't really have a camera, you don't really have the camera option on the left hand side. And down at the bottom you might see the little circle there. If you drag that up, that will open up Google Now. Which is sort of like, um, I don't know what you would call Google Now, it's sort of a cross between their search engine and a bit of an assistant. So, you know, it's basically telling me the weather in my area. It is also telling me that if I was to drive to work now, it would take me an hour and 14 minutes. And it's also got the local tavern there for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm not really an alcoholic. Though it's basically saying that um, I can check in if I want to. So, yeah, I think that's all there is that's been added to the um, lock screen, really. The second major thing which you are going to notice is the notification bar. You will notice that it is a bit smaller and the reason for this is that there's now a mini settings notification um, area that drops down which I really like, I really like this change. So all of your normal notifications will appear on the left along with the time and the date. And on the right you have a few different options, you have um, the, user, the um, user option to switch between users, I will show you more about that in a minute. You have an option for brightness. You have um, a link to settings, a Wi-Fi option, you have an auto rotate enable disable button. Um, it basically tells you the battery life is 86%, you've got an airplane mode and you have got Bluetooth on and off. Um, does it show you the battery with it up? Yeah, um, oh no, it doesn't show you the percentage, though it's still got a picture there. So yeah, defin I'm definitely you know a big fan of that. Um, the next thing that I'd like to show you is the new keyboard. So most people that own um, Android devices would probably use Swift Key 3 since that is pretty much the best um, keyboard you can get on Android really. Though they have sort of added um, Swipe. Um, swipe is basically where you drag your finger to form names. They've added that to the stock keyboard in Android 4.2. So let me do an example. See, hello, my name is Mark. Um, and you know, it's pretty good, it's pretty accurate, especially considering I'm trying to do it behind the tripod. But that's basically how um, that keyboard works. So it's pretty much um, the swipe keyboard built into Android 4.2. And I would just like to show you another thing. So let's go into settings. You are going to notice a new option in the menu um, called users. Uh, so currently there I am, I'm listed as the owner, though I have the option to add a new user. Um, after you create a new user, that person needs to go through a setup process. Any user can accept updated app permissions on behalf of all other users. So that basically means if there is an update to Facebook and they want to be able to access your SMS messages, then someone on another account can um, basically allow that. So you need to be a bit careful if you are you know, creating an account for children, etc. Not that it should be, um, a, you know, a big hassle. And obviously the person needs to be there with you, um, you know, when setting up their account, you know, if you want them to log into their Google account. So now you're going to notice these two icons at the bottom here. You have two user accounts. So there's the owner, which is me, and there is the new user account. Okay, welcome, you have been added to the tablet. 
uh, when you're finished you can work with apps or install new ones as usual okay and there are a few things here the tablet owner can uninstall your apps or remove your space completely any other user can accept updated app permissions on your behalf as with any computer you should only share this tablet with people you trust so they're giving you a bit of a warning there I'm not going to log in with a Google account it's basically saying are you sure not now uh, yeah the whole location services thing I'm just going to call this um, account guest who well, I could have used um, the swift keyboard I suppose and that worked I've never been a big fan of the whole swift functionality or what is it swipe yeah I'm oh, sorry swipe I've never been a big fan of it to be honest um, okay you agree that your tablet may receive and install updates from Google yeah I don't have an issue with getting updates the more the better setup complete okay and it's going through the basic you know tutorial nothing is displaying there since I haven't logged in with my Google account so yeah that's pretty much how that works what happens if I click there I go back to the login screen I can change accounts so you know this is um, very good if you you know share the tablet or you know your mobile phone running 4.2 with someone else and you don't want them to see all of your photos etc of course you can you know put a sort of pin code on each account um, so yeah that is pretty much it for the most part there is one more thing I want to show you if I can find it it is called daydream so daydream is basically um basically when the screen goes to sleep you can get it to show different content so at the moment I have got it turned on you can set it to turn on while docked, while charging or either I'm going to set it to either you wouldn't want this um, going when it's not plugged in charging otherwise it would be wasting your battery really that's why they don't really give you the option I will show you what the clock looks like so if you have it in charging and you know the screen locks you're basically going to see this and I think that the clock moves to different positions eventually we have colors so basically there are a few different colors there I think that they change slowly fade in and out of one another we have currents which is basically the Google version of Flipboard I haven't really used it that much so it's going to display different articles um, I've only, I'm only really subscribed to technology websites on there and if you click on one it basically takes you into the current app by the looks of it uh, or, or maybe it's still on the lock screen and you have a photo frame and a photo um, table option so that's pretty much it unless I have missed anything also with Android 4.2 I believe that um, you may have heard of Project Butter um, basically the whole point of Project Butter is to make Android a lot smoother if you used Android in the early days, you know, 1.6, you know, 2.0, etc., you may have noticed um, that scrolling wasn't as good as it was on, you know, the iPhone, Apple, iOS devices. Though with Project Butter, they basically make smoothing a lot nicer, uh, scrolling a, no a lot nicer. So everything should be a lot nicer, you know, when scrolling, etc., in Android 42 I believe that they have also added a bit of an application um, for the camera. It's called um, Photosphere, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just a panorama feature. Though I can't show it to you um, on the Nexus 7 because obviously it only has a front facing camera, not the back camera like you know the Nexus um, 4. Though um, I'm pretty sure they are all of the features um, that have been added, unless I've forgotten anything. Though that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Um, will your device be getting um, Android 4.2 or um, have you already installed it? I believe that Android 4.2 is currently available from Google for the um, Nexus 4, the Nexus 10, the Nexus 7 and um, the Galaxy Nexus if it's running the correct ROM. So yeah that is it for this video. Um, click the like button if you enjoyed watching it. Feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.